Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are seeing this video, that means the two new palettes from Ace Beauté have been announced and shown. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into these palettes, show you guys two eye looks, swatches, give you guys my thoughts. So if that sounds interesting to you, just keep watching. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Karen Harris. I like to film tan girl friendly makeup videos here on YouTube. I try to post about three to four times a week. Sometimes there's more, sometimes there's less. It is what it is, but I highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post. And without further blabbering, let's get into it. I've been a fan of Ace Beauté for quite some time. I have quite a bit of their palettes, and I was so excited when they sent me their two new ones. So we have Aura and Envy, and I'm sure you guys have seen the inside of these already, but I'm gonna go ahead and pop on some swatches and close-ups for you guys. Now, I haven't swatched these palettes yet at the time I'm filming this video. Obviously, you guys will see the swatches, but I have used the Aura palette, so you'll see that look next. But this palette has such an interesting color combo with the shade Hazy and Sunburst and then Purple. So it's like a half neutral, half kind of purplish palette. And then the Envy palette is my favorite kind of palette. It's giving me a little bit of their Oceanic vibes. So I might have to compare the two at the end just to see if they are kind of duping themselves. But I love this format of... 12 shadows. The Envy palette has five metallics in it and the same with the Aura palette. So these are so nice so far with the one I've played with and now I'm ready to go ahead and play with Envy so I can get this video up for you guys. So let's go ahead and get into a look with the Envy palette. Okay, as you guys can tell, I have some makeup on. Not everything is done yet because I want to put on an eye look. So let's go ahead and play with the Envy palette. This is a classic like blue green Karen palette. So I tried to do something a little more neutral with the Aura palette, which you guys will see next. So let me go ahead and grab just a little blending brush and I think I'm just gonna do a green look. I mean, I feel like that's where I need to be with this palette. So I'm gonna go into Energy and I'm just gonna start that off on the outer corner. So far with my experience with the Aura palette, it's been amazing. I know I had a bit of a snag with the Violet Sage palette and that one was just not one of my favorites, but this is definitely the Ace Beauté formula that I have grown accustomed to. And I'm just so glad that they decided to redo their formula because I remember really loving them. And then they came out with that Paradise collection and you're like, huh? Okay, so that shade Envy looks so, so good. There is also a really pretty darker shade that's a blue called Covet. I might put a little bit on the outer corner in a bit, but I wanna use this shade called Karma, which is a really pretty green. And I'm gonna use that on the inner half of my crease. Oh, that's like my favorite shade of green, like a very bright, truly toned green shadow, and it's blending so nicely with the outer corner. Okay, so I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and I'm gonna go into the shade called Gully. It's like a poopy green shade and I'm just gonna use that to blend out the crease a little bit. Okay, I like how that looks. Now I'm gonna go into Covet and I'm just gonna add that to the outer corner as well. Okay, that looks really nice and dark and now we have to decide on the metallics. So I think definitely vibes and Illusion probably need to go on this lid. So I'm just grabbing a flat brush from Sigma. I'm gonna start with the shade Vibes because that's the lighter green. So I kind of want to put that on the inner corner. And as always, I'm gonna spray. Ooh, that is so pretty. And oh, you can really build that up when it's wet, so that's nice. I really wanna try Ace Beauté's face palettes. They have a blush palette, a bronzer palette, and a highlighter palette. 
I really want to know if their face products are as good as their eyeshadows and their lip products, but oh my gosh, how cool does that look? And now I'm gonna grab the shade Illusion, which is like a more teal green. Give it a nice spray. And we're just gonna tap that on the outer edge of the lid and just blend it in to the lighter green. Oh, so sparkly. Mm. I have all these like little hairs from postpartum, but I really, really like how that's looking. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I'm just gonna grab a little pencil brush, go into the shade Karma, and I'm just gonna blend that shade about halfway to the lower lash line. And then we're gonna go into Gully and just the inner half of the lower lash line. And then I really want a inner corner highlight shade, which this palette doesn't have. So I'm just gonna grab from my Sugar Drizzle palette and I'm gonna go into the shade Lightning Rays and I'm just gonna take this brush and just kind of pop that on the inner corner because I want to give it some lightness and brightness on the inner corner. And I just want to take some on the brow bone as well because we can. So if you know me, this is like a signature look for me. I love green eyeshadow. I really, really like how this is looking. So I'm going to go ahead and do something with my hair, throw on some earrings, throw on a lip shade, and I'll be right back to show you guys the finished look. Okay, friends, so here is the finished look. Let me tell you what is on my face today other than this eyeshadow palette. So for foundation, I don't know why. I think this is discontinued, but I decided to wear it. This is the Sephora Full Coverage Long Lasting Matte Perfection Foundation. I don't know why, I just reach for this and I really like how it looks. It makes my skin look very perfected. It kind of gives me Estee Lauder vibes, the double wear. You know, I haven't worn that one in a hot second, so I don't know. I think this was gonna get decluttered, but I just figured I'd whip it out, try it out and see. I'm also wearing my Glowish Primer. I have on the ColourPop Dream VAK Super Shock Bronzer. This is so pretty. And then I just reached for a bunch of older products in my collection because I just went through and decluttered something. So I found some of my favorite blushes which were trapped in my blush drawer. So I'm just wearing a combination of these two lethal blushes. Huda Beauty Concealer for highlighter. Again, I found this buried in the depths of my highlighter drawer. This is the Tarte Amber Glow Highlight. So pretty, so subtle. And then for the lip today, I'm wearing Applause from Ace Beauté. This is one of my favorite liquid lipstick shades from them. I love their liquid lipsticks. They have such amazing colors. So that is everything that's a part of this look. Now I wanna go ahead and roll into my look with the Aura Palette. Okay, I'm gonna do a look with the Aura Palette. And you guys have already seen swatches. I haven't swatched this at the time I'm filming this video, but I kind of wore all of my khaki things, so I was thinking it would be fun to play with like these shades, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start off with the Sigma blending brush and I'm gonna go in to the shade Soul Tree, which is the dark brown shade right here. And we're gonna pick it up on this brush. And usually I start with like the crease color, but I thought for funsies, let me start with the darkest shade and see how these blend out. That looks so good. Okay, next I'm gonna go into the shade called Hazy. And I'm gonna focus that on the inner corner and blend it outward. That is such a pretty color. Usually shades like this is either gonna show up on me or not. So I'm happy that it is showing up on me. Okay, so now that the crease shade is on, I'm gonna go back into the shade called Soul Tree and deepen up the outer corner some more. 
Okay, I love how sultry and smoky this looks. Now we're gonna put on a lid shade. So for the lid color, I was gonna go with Sunburst, but I think I'm gonna do Halo. I'm just gonna try it. It looks like it's a duochrome, like purpley gold. And I typically would have gone like monochromatic, but I'm like, you know what, Karen? Live a little, try something new. So that's what we're gonna do. And yeah, this is a duochrome, so it's pulling more of that olive tone. So I'm really glad I decided to try it. Because that's a little bit unexpected from the way it looks in the pan. Mm-mm-mm-mm. That is so pretty. Woo, it's so sparkly. Way to go, Ace Beauté. Just gonna take the brush I use for the outer corner and just blend that a little bit. But that is pretty much the look with the Aura palette. So let me go ahead and complete the lash line, throw on a lipstick, throw on some earrings, and I will be right back to let you know what else is on my face today and show you the finished look. Okay friends, so here is the finished look. Let me tell you what else is on my face today. So I have on my Glowish Primer that I've been trying out. I have on Makeup Forever Foundation, Huda Beauty Concealer, and then for mascara today, I have on the MAC Stack Mascara, one of my favorites. My lip shade is also from Ace Beauté. I love their liquid lipsticks. I don't know, oh here, this is the shade Own It, and I do have a full lip swatch video with all of their lipsticks, but I love their liquid lipsticks the most. And then for blush, we have the Hourglass At Night Blush. I just filmed my blush collection video, so I was like, oh my gosh, I've been thinking about At Night, and I put it on the top of my blush drawer so I could wear it. Bronzer is the ColourPop Super Shock Bronzer in the shade dream vacay these are so nice and pigmented and creamy and then the highlighter is a palette i don't know if this is gonna still be on sale when you guys see this video but this is discounted for 31 dollars, i believe on sephora and it's so good i've been using it in my shop my stash so I just grabbed this highlighter for today's makeup look. So those are all of the other products on my face today. And this is the Aura palette that I used to create this look. So yeah, I really, really like how this turned out. The eyeshadow palette is excellent. Okay, friends, so now that you've seen both looks, you definitely have to let me know. Leave me an emoji down below. Did you like the purple look or the green look? Just leave a green heart if you like the green look better. Purple Heart if you liked the look I created with this palette better. I will say for me, I felt like the look ended up being kind of neutral leaning because I wanted to use those grungy colors, but I was pleasantly surprised with how beautifully Halo worked on the lid with that color. It looks so purple in the pan, I was not expecting it to look like a beautiful kind of almost like antique gold shade on the lid but I think when I paired it with these shades it really took on that color so that was kind of an unexpected surprise with that palette with the Envy palette I mean my expectations have been exceeded I've played with an unbelievable amount of green blue purple palettes this year I feel like so many indie brands have done their own version of this palette. So I'm very, very happy that one of my favorite formulas from an indie brand has also done their take on this palette. I really like this look. It's very classic Karen Harris. So very, very happy to have both of these. Now let me go ahead and show you some comparisons from my existing Ace Beauté collection. Okay, so I knew these palettes were similar, but these are pretty similar. Um, obviously the Oceanic palette has more shades, but this shade Pacific, actually that one's a green dark matte, but very similar, like not identical, but very similar. Mykonos looks a lot like Illusion, Vibes doesn't really look like anything, but yeah, very similar tones. I will say I really like the formula of the new Envy palette, so I think even if you have the Oceanic, you can still have the Envy palette and then I also grabbed my 
Vintage Dawn palette, which I was not a fan of the formula, just to show you guys a comparison. And these ones are not very similar. I do wish they had gone with this thinner packaging though that Vintage Dawn has. Envy does have a little bit more thickness to it, just so you guys know, in case you care about things like that, but it's not like the end of the world. And then I had to grab this palette because I believe this is discontinued by Beauty Bay, but this is the Wilderness palette by Beauty Bay. Definitely one of those palettes that a lot of people wish that they would bring back. And as you can see, this Envy palette has a nice selection of those green blue shades that are a part of this wilderness palette in case you missed out on that so yeah i just wanted to show you guys a few comparisons and then the palatopoly palette kind of reminded me of the aura palette i do like how this is a much more condensed version though of the palette so let me just show you here as you can see there's that row of purples which are kind of distributed up here. We've got those two green shades. There's that shade Sunburst and Hazy that look like Ninja Turtle and Slime a little bit. And then we have some neutral brown shades that are kind of similar as well. So yeah, I think I was pretty on point when I said those shades kind of reminded me of each other. But I will say that Envy and Aura are such a great size and I think the formula is absolutely top-notch so yeah if maybe you don't like how big the palatopoly palette is you might find aura a more suitable size for you either which way i'm so excited for you guys to be able to get your hands on this i do have an affiliate code with ace beauty so if you use kh makeup you will save some extra money i would also highly recommend trying out their lip formula i love 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 their liquid lipsticks their lipsticks are nice their lip liners are nice their lip oil is really nice those are some of my recommendations of things to try out from ace beauté but that is it for this video you guys i hope you enjoyed like i said let me know which eye look was your favorite leave me a green heart or a purple heart or if you like both leave me a green and purple heart i would really really appreciate it oh and i forgot to mention i'm not sure how much these palettes retail for but they will be launching on Cyber Monday, so I'll make sure to post on my community tab a little reminder when the palettes are available for purchase. Thank you guys so, so much for sticking with me. I will see you in a new video very, very soon. Bye, guys!